participating in NYX Face Awards India 2017 with this look. So this look is inspired by Mother Nature. All of us are aware of global warming that is happening and I wanted to depict something. I wanted to create something around that. Also, I wanted to show my uh, makeup skills at the same time. I wanted to be a little arty and uh, uh, creative. So yeah, uh, I've created this uh, Snow Eyes Princess look right there and below the neck I've tried creating this volcanic mountain so it's basically uh, ice meeting fire two different elements of nature colliding with each other uh, somewhat that is what my inspiration was like the global warming and I've, I've also shown you guys in this video how I've created this gorgeous uh, snow ice princess uh, crown it is a complete DIY and also I've shown you guys how I created this uh, 3d looking mountain so yeah I hope uh, you like this look I've put a lot of hard work into this and I hope this is good enough to take me to the next level and if you like this please 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 share it with your friends and family leave a thumbs up and yeah let's just get into the video so let's just make the crown first so for that I'm going to use this uh, paper or uh, a fabric like so and I'm going to cut it in a bigger larger long triangles like so like four or five of them and then I'm just going to twist it now this fabric is going to take the shape as uh, desire so I'm going to uh, make uh, like larger icicles with it and with the same fabric I've made a smaller icicle uh, smaller looking icicles like so and uh, then for the base of the crown I'm going to take this uh, a kids party crown I bought this from uh, you can get this from any uh, local stationery shop and I'm going to glue both the icicles on the back side of the crown uh, like so now you definitely want to make sure that uh, you use a hand glove because I had a tough time uh, to get rid of the glue from my fingers so make sure that you use a glove so I'm going to fix uh, all of that in place like so and the larger uh, icicles uh, would go in between the smaller ones and then uh, moving on to covering the front of the crown I am using these doilies I've cut them into half and I'm going to stick them like so overlapping each other and once that was done I went ahead and uh, I stuck a larger flower like that at the center like a center piece for the crown and I had a few small flowers like different uh, sizes of flowers so I'm going to stick that uh, randomly in the front then I bought these from a flower shop so you would get it at any local florist and I just uh, uh, staple them uh, on the smaller icicles like that and I got rid of the excess and then to give them a further hold I am going to just glue them using a glue stick like this so once that is done I made a small roll like that of the same fabric and I stuck it right under the larger fabric like this and uh, then I just basically this is going to give a, a frame or maybe a base for the flowers to hold on and then randomly I stuck all the flowers and uh, this is how the crown is going to look so we are done with the crown now moving on to icicles now I wanted something resembling ice on my face uh, like you would see in my video later on I have used icicles on my eyebrows so for that I used a glue stick like so and I'm just making some random lines and strokes uh, with the glue stick resemb something resembling eyes so yeah uh, once that is dried up uh, this is how they would look and they are very lightweight and very easy to glue them on your face so you can uh, use a eyelash glue to just stick them onto your face and you are done so moving on to makeup I have already done one eye and I'm going to do the other uh, with you guys so here I'm just uh, fixing the eyebrows and gluing them and then correcting my dark circles uh, over the eyelids so I'm using a concealer to do that and uh, then setting all of that using a powder before I go in with my eyeshadows so this look is uh, something similar to a cut crease but a very intense and uh, very dramatic cut crease so I'm going to use a blue eyeshadow pencil like that and I'm going to line that crease as you see me doing here and I'm going to create a wing but a very dramatic wing 
like so and this is just a guideline so don't be afraid if it's a little messy that's all right and then i'm going with a larger chubbier uh, eyeshadow stick a uh, blue eyeshadow stick and filling that gap and once that is done i'm going to apply eyeshadow so here i'm using a purple eyeshadow at the outer and the inner corners of the wing like this and then in the center i'm going to use a lighter shade of the uh, purple eyeshadow so these are like uh, 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 foil eyeshadows and here i'm using the same purple eyeshadow and elongating the wing like this and also creating a wing in the inner corners like so so yeah just take your time and create a shape that you like and you desire so this is what i was wanting and going for and here i'm just applying the same uh, light purple shade and blending the harsh lines if at all if there are any and once that is done i'm going to clean up the crease using the same concealer and uh, I'm again uh, setting that with some powder and then once that is done here I'm applying some uh, white eyeshadow uh, and applying the same eyeshadow on my brows. Now we are going to uh, hide our brows with icicles that we made so that's not an issue but uh, yeah still I wanted uh, my brows not to be seen that not to be very obvious so yeah I'm just going to apply that shadow and here I'm very lightly correcting under my eyes and over my pigmentation and wherever I feel I need some correction and uh, then going on with concealing all of these areas now we want a very flawless and a very seamless look and base so I am going a little heavy with my concealer and my foundation so yeah here you see me blending my foundation with a sponge and as I said I'm going really heavy with my foundation and my base because I want it to be like very flawless and we are a snow princess so we have like a flawless looking skin so that's what I'm trying to create here and I wanted my skin to look a little pale than my usual skin tone so here I'm just applying some white uh, face paint and, uh, and dabbing it uh, using the same sponge and blending all of that. So once uh, that is done, I'm going to set my entire face, like my entire face using a loose powder like so and yeah, you can see the powder <laughs> in the camera as well. So yeah, once that is done, you want to be careful around your wing and uh, once that is sitting on my face like for 5 minutes, I'm going to dust all of that off. Then moving on to creating another wing and I ended up messing that up on the camera so I had to do off camera so I did my wing off camera and also applied some falsies I have done nothing just a usual wing following the same previous wing that we created so here I'm just applying some glitter liner like this all over my eyelid and uh, this is what we want once that is done I'm going to apply uh, so the same uh, blue chubby eye pencil under my lower waterline and blending that with the darker purple eyeshadow and then to give some icy pale effect I'm going to apply some white eyeshadow right there then to contour my face I'm using the same purple eyeshadow and then building it up and blending it with a lighter purple and then on the highest points of my cheek I'm going to use a silver eyeshadow for a highlight so I'm going to do that in my uh, hollows of my cheek and my forehead a little bit around my temple and also my jawline so yeah you want to blend nicely and seamlessly and once that is done I'm going to apply some blush this is a very light pink eyeshadow that I'm using it as a blush and then moving on to my NYX uh, sculpt and highlight pen I'm going to uh, sculpt and snatch my nose and just creating two straight lines on the bridge of my nose and blending that out with my sponge and then using the other end the highlight end of the same pen I'm going to highlight on the bridge of my nose and once that is done of course a snow princess look is incomplete without that extra bit of highlights so I'm going to go very very generous with my highlight and highlighting the highest points of my cheek and the bridge of my nose so we are almost done with the makeup so I'm going to just uh, finish uh, creating that mountain so for that you just need some glue and water uh, solution like this and dip 
tissue papers piece of tissue papers like a larger piece of tissue papers and you just want to stick it on your skin like so and create a shape uh, like a mountain shape and you just have to be creative with this just try creating a mountain shape like imagine how a mountain would look you exactly want that on your body and you want to fix that uh, pieces with glue and yeah you can just uh, simply wait to get it dry or just speed up the process using a hair dryer once that is almost like half dried i'm going to continue with my makeup so I wanted to uh, hide my hairline so for that I'm going to use my white uh, face paint and hide it and then applying some mascara on my lower and upper uh, lashes both and uh, I wanted to go in with a white eyelash but I did not have that so instead I'm going to create some snow kind of an effect using this glitter on my eyelashes like this. So I'm going to apply that both on my top and bottom lashes and this would just uh, create some snow flaky snow effect on my lashes which would be perfect uh, even without a white eyelash. And then I'm going to apply these like small pearls and some blue uh, pearls like this uh, right below my wing and we are going to fix that icicle that we created uh, with the glue stick on my eyebrows using uh, eyelash glue and then for lips I'm going to apply the same purple eyeshadow on the center like in the center of my lips and at the edges I'm going to apply the silver eyeshadow and blend it using my finger. So yes, once that is done, here I'm just making the cupid's bow more highlighted and prominent by using the same liquid glitter like this and yeah, I'm applying that in the tear duct area as well just again to highlight the tear duct area and make it more prominent and uh, sparkly and icy. So yes, I completely forgot to uh, apply some shadow and create that icy pale effect on my ears so that's what I'm doing here I'm just using the same purple light pink and silver eyeshadow to do that so once that is done the mountain that we created is almost dried up so I'm going to paint it so first I'm going to paint it completely with the brown shade like this and then again you use your creativity and create shadows using black color and once that is done I'm going to start creating volcano so this is basically the lava uh, dripping on the mountain and again just be like creative with this so you can always use even a reference picture uh, to create this so yeah i'm just creating some volcanic lines here like the lava lines and then uh, basically i'm just concentrating uh, towards the mountain it has to be very deep red orangey and as it goes uh, on my neck uh, you know you would see the yellow flames And yeah I'm just blending all of that with a sponge and with the brush and you don't have to be very precise with this because of course it is lava it is mountain so it is going to be messy so just be creative and uh, yeah we are done with our look so I hope uh, you enjoyed this video this is something which is totally out of my comfort zone and uh, I loved it creating it for all you guys and I felt this was the best time and the best opportunity to show my talent uh, and to do something out of my comfort zone so yes I really enjoyed creating this look for all you guys and I hope this is good enough to take me to the next level uh, in this competition and if I do I would need your support and uh, throughout this competition so please 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 if you like this video share it like it and if you aren't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and also the bell button to get notified each time I upload yes I would see you guys in my next video until then stay happy and stay gorgeous bye